speaking of rides, it seems like we're cruising right kind of into the Christmas uh, season as, as long as you know we're, we're feeling these uh, cold yeah. temperatures out there today. Well, I'm, I'm seeing all these preps. It's about time, I guess that we had some weather that sort of made it feel appropriate and we're going to get it this weekend, right, Ray? Yeah, meteorologically, a lot of people don't know this, but as soon as you start putting out the Christmas lights, it snows. That's what happens. If you put the slip and slide in the yard, it'll warm back up. Not true. <laughs> it's time. We, we have this rain that's working in right now. Initially, we're going to see rain. Through a good chunk of the night, it's going to be rain, but tomorrow morning we'll get a few flakes mixing in there. Accumulations, not too likely. Next batch is coming in Sunday into Monday, and that doesn't look like too much right now. It's out towards Montana, but this is a little clipper system that's going to zip through here. Typically, those try to throw a little snow your way, but we've been really warm leading up to this weekend. We've had some sunshine, some good deals of sunshine leading up to this weekend, so there's some energy in the ground, and the snow is going to have to overcome that energy. So just know that a lot of this is going to melt on contact. But when it comes down to it, we're looking at pretty much no accumulation in Pittsburgh, maybe a light coating up along I-80 and a coating to an inch up into the ridges. But a big snowfall, not likely going to be the case. And here's how it works out. This is tonight at 11 o'clock. Still some rain at this point. Once we get towards tomorrow morning, you see back in Ohio, that's where we're making a transition to snow. Up in the ridges, that's where we're making a transition to snow. So you'll see the snow prolonged in the ridges. However, in Pittsburgh, it's going to become more of a scattered event. Into the afternoon, I think we're going to dry it up area wide, aside from maybe a very random snowflake or a raindrop. But more than likely, we're going to stay pretty dry for the afternoon. Saturday night into Sunday, we start seeing the next system get closer. Sunday, mainly in the afternoon, we start seeing this snow and rain cutting into the area. And again, it's going to start off as snow, but we're going to be mixing in that rain at times. So accumulations are not looking big from this. And again, it still has to overcome the warmer temperatures of the ground that we have and any moisture that falls as rain. So once we get into Monday morning, we're going to wrap up the last of the snow. We're going to get back into a, a drier pattern, I think, for the early parts of next week. Now, temperatures tonight, they're going down to the mid 30s. It's going to be cold, but uh, we've been colder. But once we start getting into these mid 30s early tomorrow morning, that's enough to make that transition over to snow. And we will bounce back to the upper 30s and low 40s for high temperatures tomorrow. So it's going to be a cool day all the way through and actually a cool weekend at that. When you factor in the winds, it's going to feel even colder. So early tomorrow morning, it's going to feel like the upper 20s in most cases. At best, tomorrow it's going to feel maybe mid-30s if you're lucky. But I think a good deal of the day is going to feel about 30 degrees or so. And then we're going to have those wind chills back into the 20s for uh, uh, early on Sunday morning. So a colder setup for sure this weekend. Temperatures at 36, light rain late. That's going to actually lead to some snow early tomorrow morning. That scattered areas of rain and snow mainly early on. It will be a gustier day with wind gusts of 20, potentially to 25 miles per hour at times. And looking through the week, we have these temperatures that stay in the low 40s through Monday. Once we get through Monday, we start bouncing back a little bit. We're talking some upper 40s for Tuesday, partly cloudy skies there. Warm for Wednesday, 60 degrees. So back into the warm stuff. It will be a cloudier day there and a few early showers on Thursday will lead to a little bit of a cool down for Thursday into Friday. But I think this time next week we'll get back into those partly cloudy conditions, but temperatures only in the upper 40s.